coming up, I'm going to be talking about Cars Free Video Game. I'll also be talking about the Oscars and some new Park Stars Vinylmation. What's up, everyone? It's Wednesday. It's time for your Disc Kingdom Daily News, so let's jump into it. Okay, so let's kick things off with some really great news. Yesterday was kind of a great news for Disney Infinity fans because it was announced by Warner Brothers, which is kind of a bit odd. They announced that they are working on a Cars free game. And more importantly, the Avalanche team that had been making Disney Infinity are making the game and they have acquired the license to the Octane um, engine. Now, what this means is essentially the people that were making Disney Infinity are now working as a once again as avalanche studios because that was the thing disney brought them originally they've restarted up as a separate company and also what that means as well is that got kind of almost looks like it got sold to uh, warner brothers which they have taken on about they've kept on about 100 members of staff and by the sounds of things, they have worked on maybe a few little bit of things of licensing from Disney. Now, what that means with the Octane engine is that essentially was what was the nuts and bolts of Disney Infinity. Now, we knew there was going to be a Cars free playset coming for Disney Infinity. So whether or not the team basically just put all of that effort, what they had been putting into that and all the work that had already previously gone into it. And also they would have had the engine from Disney Infinity 3.0. So you'd have had all the characters, you'd have had the buildings, you'd have had the general basics and they can tweak that anyway. and they've been apparently nearly been working on that since disney infinity ended they just didn't officially announce it now i think warner brothers actually owning um, avalanche is a good thing because warner brothers sort of focus on licensed products they i know some people were into like warner brothers they can't do that they own dc they're the opposite well they've been making lego games as part of their tt games they, they made lego force awakens lego avengers all the different lego games over the years so they've been working with disney in the past so I think this is a great step forward. And I think just in general for Disney fans, having um, companies like this working on licensed products, which is exactly what kind of Disney fans, you know, that is the thing, you know, to have games for kids and for, you know, for uh, older fans like myself to enjoy and that's kind of the big thing that's been missing when cars free is going to be out we don't know the movie's coming out on this summer around june july so it would make sense to have the game around the same time so they would have had maybe a year to 18 months to work on the individual game we don't know how far along in development the cars free playset for disney infinity was and how much of disney infinity they were able to bring over i wouldn't be at all surprised if there was a few little easter eggs are in there Avalanche worked on previous games before, like Toy Story, so I really hope that they, after this, they may be working on a new Toy Story 4 game, because they've done previous ones. I just think for this, this is great news. You know, the people in Disney um, that were working for them at Avalanche, you know, and that they've been working, you know, they've had a job. Avalanche is carrying on, and just in general, we're going to get some new games, and sort of Disney Infinity can kind of carry on after this. You know, the things that got learned, the some of the basics, I mean, I... Do you suspect we might see a lot of games based on this engine for a while now? If they've got the license, you know, whether or not if this was the thing of when they got brought out and kind of sweeten the deal and kind of keep them all going. I just think in general, it's great news. Disney Infinity isn't coming back because I know that was the kind of thing that a lot of um, websites were kind of, you know, pushing on the fact that Disney Infinity had been sort of brought out by Warners. And, you know, they're never going to come back with the figures. They're not going to come back with all that. They're just going to go back to making licensed games. And personally, I think that's a good thing. And if we can get a game every year or every two years of this kind, it will be great. You know, 100 people, you know, it's just it's just good news all around. And even though it's kind of funny because I had said this quite a few times on the Infinity and Beyond podcast, whether or not um, the teams are going to be able to make content from some of the stuff that were, was planned. You know, Moana could be a separate game had they, you know, if they put some effort into it. And now it could very easily be something. But also, you know, they were working on other projects as well coming up in the future. So I just think in general, this is great. It does mean now that we've got another Disney game added to the lineup. Um, and I'm hoping that it will be coming out on different platforms, including... I'm, I'm really hoping that we might see this one on the Switch. But let's see what goes on with that one. 
Disney have announced a brand new series of Park Styles of Animation. They're going to be coming out this coming Friday. You'll be able to pick them up in Pin Traders at Walt Disney World's Disney Springs. You're also going to be able to pick it up at D Street down in um, downtown Disney. Uh, you'll also be able to pick them up online. Some great figures on here from different attractions. You've got um, some new characters from the Pirates of the Caribbean. It's a small world. You've also got the Jungle Cruise. You've got the Goat from Big Fun the Mountain. I am a big fan of the Park Styles series. Um, it's just a, it's just again i would have loved to have known about this in the future because if they'd said that there was a new park star series coming out and they showed this picture and coming out in two three months i would have saved up to buy a case of it but the money that you know a case of this to inch port is pretty much the price of a new console that's coming out that i've pre-ordered so that's where my money is going to be going so as much as i love this series i would love a little bit more notice on it but maybe I, if these are still in the stores um, later on this year, when I'm out there, I will be picking this set up. Also, Funko have announced some of the new Marvel Daredevil Series 2 pop vinyls. They're going to be coming soon. You've got the classic characters in there. You've got Jessica Jones. You've also got uh, Daredevil. You've got the Punisher. These are looking really cool. So if you're into these pop vinyls, you definitely want to check out our sister site, popvinyls.com. And for Xbox fans, Monkey Island 2 and Star Wars The Force Awakens is going to be um, coming to Xbox Games with Gold in February, which is great. So if you're on that subscription platform, you'll be able to get these games. They're Xbox 360 games, but they will work with your Xbox One. So these will be spread out over the, the course of that month. Force Unleashed is a really cool game. Um, I did pick that one up, I think, in the May the 4th sale last year, and I've been doing it. I haven't I quite finished it um but yeah i definitely worth checking that one out if you have your xbox gold and just good for that as far as monkey island goes i have never played a monkey island game but i do remember when i was at high school when my friends were kind of playing it but i didn't have the um omega amiga game system which was like really expensive and i had a kind of a really bad atari system compared to theirs when yeah, it was just one of those things. Monkey Island was one of those games that I, I remember from a kid that people were playing, a bit like Day of the Tentacle. Of course, back at then, it was kind of like a point-and-click adventure, but it's all been redone up, so it's not essentially a really old game. They've just kind of updated it, remastered it, and it's available next month on Xbox Games with Gold. And finally, Disney um, got nominated for a number of different Oscars for the upcoming event, though... I'm going to kind of get into this first off on what they got nominated for. So let's just go through here what they got nominated for, um, which includes a variety of different things. So Best Animated Movie, they got two nominations. They got nominated for Zootopia and also Moana. Best Original Song was How Far I'll Go for Moana. Sound Mixing for Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Visual Effects for the Rogue One. Jungle Book, Doctor Strange and the BFG. Best Animated Short, they got picked up for Pepper. And Sound Mixing, Rogue One, Star Wars Story. Now, great news for Disney there. They've got lots of different nominations. The fact that they've got two movies in the animated character um, is a very strong possibility. I would not be at all surprised if Zootopia picks this, this one up over then Moana because A, they're very well at the box office, but also tells that story of sort of diversity and stuff. Um, as for Piper, possibly that one could pick it up. The technical things, very, very, you know, the, the, those big blockbusters are very, very technical. And it is, like I said, big, great news for Disney on that on there. But I'm going to be honest, and this is a little bit of a rant and a personal issue of mine. Um, for me, the Oscars do not represent the kind of movies that I want to see and do not represent the year that I've seen in the movie. You know, if this is representing the best of the year, they never really, very rarely ever showcase any big blockbusters. You know, now, some people might argue that, you know, just because it's popular, it doesn't mean it's good. And yeah, you could say that on a lot of the big blockbusters, but it just always feels like the the big movies, the ones that everyone goes and sees, seem to quite often get snubbed over more sort of maybe artistic movies. Now, I haven't seen La La Land, so I'm not going to, um, you know, I don't know what that was like. I'll see it when it comes up on in on rental, but... You know, it just feels to me like every year I see the um, the Oscar nominations and quite often it is the fact of I've never heard of any of these movies and it almost doesn't do it. Whereas maybe like an MTV Awards, they will usually pick the movies that people liked and the ones that they went on and what was the best movie of the year. You know, if you ask most of us, you know, we will pick from the big blockbuster that we've seen, maybe not necessarily some random movie 
Now, like I said, it doesn't go against anything that the people have been nominated for. Obviously, the actors and stuff, uh, you know, they have been working on the craft and making these movies. And I haven't seen them. So I'd really... But usually, Oscars just do not dictate to me that they are... That is the year that um, I've seen at the cinema. Um, and maybe that's just my own personal choice. But like I said, I remember saying this last year when they announced the nominations with uh, when I was talking to Abe on our podcast... And yeah, it was the same thing there. I said it just does not represent it. So it's nothing, nothing new for me. I am glad that Disney did get a load of technical things and obviously best animated feature. They got two nods, so that's definitely a big one for them. Really hoping that they pick one of them up. And I do think Zootopia is probably more than likely going to pick that one up. Well, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of Disney Infinity's kind of team being picked up by Warner Brothers, the Oscar nominations, and everything else. And I will see you guys soon. Later's.